Six one, the polygon angle sum theorems. Number one wants you to find the sum of the interior angle measures of a seven gon. So let's take a closer look at it. To find the sum, we have to use the formula for it, which is n minus two times one eighty. N is the number of sides. This one, the number of sides is seven. So seven goes inside for n, so seven minus two is five, and five times one eighty is nine hundred. So let's type that in. So the sum for number one is 900. And that's number one. Number two, find the measures of an interior angle and an exterior angle of a regular 20 gun. So let's take a closer look at it. First, to find the exterior angle, you simply divide 360 by the number of sides. So 360 divided by 20 is 18. So the measure of one exterior angle of a 20 gun is 18. Now to find an interior angle, an interior angle and one exterior angle are a linear pair, meaning they add up to 180. So subtract 180 from 18, and that gives you 162 for the interior angle. So let's type it in. So the measure of an interior angle will be 162. And the measure of an exterior angle will be 18. And that's number 2. Going to number 5. Find the measure of one interior angle in the regular polygon. Now, a regular polygon means that all the sides and all the interior angles are equal to each other. To find the measure of one interior angle, we first need to find the measure of one exterior angle. And to do that, we divide 360 by the number of sides. There are 10 sides in this one, so 360 divided by 10 is 36. And then to find one interior angle, since exterior angle and interior angle are a linear pair and are supplementary, we subtract it from 180 to get 144, which is the measure of the one interior angle. So let's type it in. So we type in 144, and that's the answer for number five. Number six, we need to find the measure of angle X in the figure. Let's take a look at it. So to find the measure of X, X is an interior angle, and we need to find out what every angle inside adds up to. To do that, we use the formula N minus two times 180. There are seven sides, so we do seven minus two, which is five, and 5 times 180, which is 900. So now what we do, add up all of these angles and subtract it from 900 to get your missing one. So adding them all up, you get 779. Subtracting 900 from that gives you 121 for x. So let's type that in. Typing in 121, that's the answer for number 6. Number 7. Find the measure of an exterior angle of a regular 25 gun. To find the measure of an exterior angle, you just divide 360 by the number of sides. So that's 360 divided by 25. It says type of integer or decimal. We actually get 14.4 when we divide. And that's number seven. Number eight, the sum of the angle measures of a polygon with n size is 1440. Find n. So in this one, we're given the sum and we're looking for the number of sides. We're going backwards. So let's take a closer look at it. So we're going to set 1440, our sum, equal to the formula to find the sum, which is n minus 2 times 180. So now to solve for n, we divide both sides by 180 and we get 8. Then we add 2 to both sides. And we get 10, so the number of sides is 10. So let's type it in. So let's type in 10. And that's number 8. Going to number 10, find the value of each variable. So let's do that. So first, I can find z, because 105 and z are a linear pair. So I can subtract 105 from 180, and I get 75. So that will give me this one here. To find y, I need to find out what all four of these add up to. To do that, 
I got to use n minus 2 times 180. There are four sides, so 4 minus 2 times 180 will give me 2 times 180, which is 360. So now I add 102, 82, and 75 up and subtract it from 360. So that will be 360 minus 259, which equals 101. So y is 101 and z is 75. So let's type it in. So z is 75 and y is 101. And that's number 10. Number 11. The measure of an exterior angle of a regular polygon is given below. Find the measure of an interior angle. Then find the number of sides. So to find the measure of an interior angle, subtract this exterior angle by 180. So 180 minus 60 is 120. To find the number of sides, divide 360 by 60 and you get 6. So 6 sides. And that's number 11.